finally got my first wheat penny. Just a few inches deep. I'm at a, a new spot here and at the park and I just figured I'd come up try up on this corner. The cemetery is across the street over. Well, it looks lots of iron and nails and stuff in the ground. So obviously there was a dump site or something here. So or a house site. You can see something looks like there might have been a building over here. So I don't know. I'll just keep at it. See what happens. All right. Got a lot of I just flipped back the plug and it looks like we finally got some silver here. And we're only talking about three inches deep right there. That's going to be a mark. Yep, it's mark. Probably going to be a 40s, I guess. Yep. Forty-four or forty-three or something. Yeah, looks like a forty-five. All right, two weeks and finally a silver. Yeah, I guess we have to work this park just a little harder. All right, I'll get back with you. Find anything else? I ain't seen one of those in a long time. A fucking caboose. Thinking about that today. Alright, I just found some sort of token about the size of a dime. Hopefully, uh, it'll clean up. Looks pretty rough. Well, we'll see. Alright, it's all tough. And uh, here's our use for this full noodle. Run the main line through, second tether to the eye in here. Little, uh, measurement there for the weight and you can see she go she bottoms out and the important thing is is it will not lay over but it will skim the bottom when I drag it so it's gonna fucking help keep the rope from getting snagged and it's gonna get better contact across the, across the bottom so we're gonna see how that works out here I got a couple spots I'm gonna try it out again no other stuff there, just I didn't get a hold of it because it's dragging turtle up like this coming through. So, all right, that should work pretty good. It's not very heavy, so I mean, it's still gonna give me a good, easy throw, and it's definitely gonna do the job. All right, it's not all tough. All right, this is the total here for the past few hunts. Got some quarters, some dimes, some nickels, and quite a bit of clad, like 70, 76 or so coins there on the clad front, I think. We got the uh, nine wheats, 1911 being the oldest. And, uh, 45 Merc here. Regular 40s and 50 weeks there. A token here. And it's pretty much toast. But there's just enough on this side that I know where it came from. Can't really make out the name there, but that's Elmwood, Illinois there. Actually, I've hunted that town before. So, too bad I didn't know what it was, but oh well. Some odds and bits here. Him weight. Mm -hmm. A little piggy. And then, of course, the standard junk copper, broken bottle tops that we all love finding. That's why it's good to wear your gloves. Beaver tabs, square nails, you name it, it's all in here. And zinc pennies, I just toss them in the fucking trash bin. So, yeah. That's it, that's it. Yep, hope you all enjoyed and 
Hopefully things are going to get better and we're going to get some decent relics here. And some decent finds, so. Alright. That's been awesome enough. Hope you enjoyed.